In this question, we have to take a sample. We're given the actual values in the sample. We're gonna compute the mean, the standard deviation of the sample, and then go ahead and compute the T value, the EBM, and then finally the confidence interval. And I have everything here highlighted, copied. I'm gonna paste it into a new sheet. And the other thing, I need all the values out of here, copying those. Sometimes it's better to paste right here uh, without keeping the original formatting, uh, but you just need to get these values in here. So we're gonna have an average, a standard deviation. Oops, I usually put N in the middle, S the bottom, all right. So we're going to average these right here. That'll give us the mean. And I wanna count them. Obviously there's five. However, problems in the future, you're gonna have more than you could count easily. So I'm just gonna highlight them all. And if I did go one too far on this count, it's okay. It's just gonna tell me, as long as it's a blank, it doesn't count it in the count. Count only counts cells with uh, things in them. So I didn't count that right there. Uh, S, standard deviation. This is important. This is the standard deviation of a sample. So it's STDEV dot S. And the S stands for sample. P stands for population. We only know the standard deviation of the sample. So we're going with standard deviation dot S. And then again, highlight everything, enter. So these are all the values we need. We now need the T value. So our confidence, it's 80% or 0.8, but I have to take that halfway to one. So we're averaging one and 0.80. So that'll take us halfway to one, which is 0.9. Some of these computations are easy enough uh, if you feel confident you can just do that math in your head. We're going for the T value now. T dot inv. Probability is what we just computed. Degrees of freedom, remember, is N minus one. Uh, that's somewhere up here, right here on row seven. You see the N minus one right there. That's our T value. Next up is EBM right here. It's T times S divided by square root N. EBM equals T times S divided by square root of N. All right, that's our EBM. We're almost there. Now this, we have to take this number. We want to get the confidence interval now. I'm going to copy that, paste it down here. So we have the low and the high. The low is X minus EBM. So it's X minus EBM. Enter. High is X plus EBM, right there. Uh, this probably wants rounding two decimal places, so let's go and number two decimal places. All right, again, I did a control to highlight both of them. 61.09, oops. It says, enter your answer in the form. We have to go left parenthesis, lower bound, comma, upper bound, 76.07, and then end parenthesis.